changing the the game in technology investments. So because of all the challenges that I talked about in the previous slide, technology functions are always playing defense. They are playing a catch up game. Yeah, they are not able to define. You know, kind of. Uh, you know, defense. I mean that you know people are throwing things at you and you're just trying to somehow catch catch it here. Yeah? Offense, by offense, I mean that you are in a lead position, you are, you are in a position to, to shape things, you are in a position to drive the strategy. Most times today in legacy companies, technology is playing defense, it is not playing offense. Yeah? But, but now there is, there is a possibility of shifting the game. And what is that possibility? There are three key things that are there, two which you know about, and third I, concept I will add. The first is modernizing the cloud infrastructure. Cloud, to, to my mind, is this big force of change, is the big force of transformation. The scope of cloud is continuing to increase. It is no more just about the infrastructure, it is about the entire stack. And, and especially some of the thorniest or most complicated parts of the stack, like the data infrastructure, which have traditionally been very difficult to address, cloud is the just provides a very, very real way of addressing that. Yeah. So cloud to my mind, see, there is no option for this. You know, you have to, you have to go in this direction. The second is agile and adaptive by design. How do you be agile in everything you do? Your design is, is agile and your implementation is agile. So the sole you know, even even till a few years back, you know, there used to be so much discussion about end state architecture. Yeah. So, you know, when I was at Fidelity, you know, we would constantly, you know, have these like, you know, big kind of diagrams and a lot of discussion about end state architecture. That whole notion in today's world, I think, is is a it just, you know, is a is not relevant. You know, you're, you know, it is a it is a it has to be an emerging architecture because you know, how can you say there's anything end state in the VUCA world? Yeah, the world is changing so rapidly. It has to be an emerging architecture. You, your even your design thinking has to be agile, and your approach in everything you do, all of the ID ID processes, everything you do has to be agile. And finally, implement using a two-speed approach. I will spend more time in it on it. This is very much you know uh, something that you know I've been talking about now for a number of years that. My very clear view is that Big Bang implementations are a recipe for disaster in the VUCA world, in the digital world, because just that the assumptions and conditions are changing so rapidly. So you need to operate at two levels. You know, one is pick up specific use cases, and then you use that high impact use case to drive through the stack. This is particularly important when you are trying to deal with problems around the data infrastructure. What has been happening is that enterprises have been spending hundreds of millions of dollars in on solving, you know, we will have the perfect data infrastructure. Yeah. And you spend a long time doing that. By the time you're getting you're, you're progressing with the with the project, technology has moved on, data has kind of exploded to a different level. And then you are left with like a couple of hundred million dollar investment, which is now outdated. Yeah. And what is the business problem or business value you're trying to deliver? You have lost track of that. The only way you can solve it is that if you are very crystal clear and specific about what are the business problems you are solving and then drive through the, through the stack. Yeah. Now, the speed two is that you use successive agile cycles of implementation to then build out the full stack or the full infrastructure or the full architecture, yeah? Because the use cases are a necessary starting point, but they are not enough. You do need the full stack, yeah? And the key in this two speed is how do you connect the two? How do you connect the speed one and speed two?